Yo, what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new Windows emulator for Android known as the Winlater O mode, an open source fork version of Winlater Android with brand new features. So it is known as O mode, which stands for Winlater with optimized module. So it is created to provide glipsy experience along with that improved performance, improved compatibility. The developers had made some major claims that you might expect up to three to four times more performance inside Winlater O mode. So that's what we'll be testing out in today's video. Now on the official Winlater O mode Glipsy, the version 10.11 was released about 3 days ago and it focuses on providing key fixes along with that save data and much more. But if we just go ahead and take a look at the version which was provided 5 days ago, you guys can see it has recompiled root FS. If you use the old root FS, it used to give like 500 FPS on Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 but the recompiled one gave 1128 to 2000 FPS on same processor. So this is almost 2 to 4 times more performance as it comes with a recompiled root FS. So that's what we'll be checking out in today's video. So when you add the Winlater O mode on your Android device for the first time, simply tap on allow and afterwards wait until all the assets have been set up inside the simulator. Now you also get a bit more darker blue theme inside the simulator and also some new text at the top left corner for Winlater O mode and this has Glipsy support so the performance should be mind blowing. That's what we'll be checking out. So let's go to settings here. Box 64 version make sure to choose 0.3.5, preset set it as performance, duplicate it edit it and make sure to set the save flags level to 0. Once that has been done, make sure to tick mark and now we'll create ourselves a new Windows Emulator container. Where screen resolution will set it to 800 by 600. Graphics driver, Vortex graphics driver support is here with Mali GPU support I guess. So let's check that out. So yeah, Vulkan version setting is present which means Mali GPU support is also present in this version of Winlater O mode Glipsy. So that's pretty amazing. We'll choose DXVK 1.10.3 as default, you don't really need to change it. Audio driver set it as Pulse Audio, enable show FPS, afterwards go to advanced settings, select the box 64 preset that we just created, startup selection set it to aggressive, go to trials and here make sure to add the folder where you store your PC games. Once that has been done simply tap on the tick mark button and there we go that's how simple it is to set up this version of Winlater Android. Afterwards we'll just go and tap the play button and you guys can see we also have brand new animations for starting up the container. So there we go on Snapdragon 8 Elite. This Windows emulator has successfully booted and I really want to check out its performance. So we'll go to the start section. Afterwards we'll run some DirectX 3D test. So here we'll just go ahead and choose the cube map DirectX 3D test to see if our graphics is working or not. And surely enough our graphics is working and we are getting 800 plus FPS which is actually very impressive in this 3D test by the way. Let's just go ahead and close it and try out another 3D test which is the dolphin test. So here. Let's check that out. You guys can see we are getting about 1500 plus FPS and this is actually very amazing. You guys can read Vortec Adreno 830 because this device has a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. Now that everything has been set up, let's take a look at some advanced settings that might be present here in the start section. So we get fixes, input bridge as well as ability to add Wine D3D as well as add on stuff. So here we have renderer. So you can choose Virgil if you want to run MediaTek specific games. So this is pretty amazing. I guess let's just go ahead and swipe back. Go to input controls and check out that there are only two input controls which are provided. So we'll go to settings and make sure to add our GTA 5 input touch control profile before we even start to test out the game because you already know there is a bug with Winlater Android where you'll need to restart your container uh, to get the on-screen touch controls that you import. So when you open the game it's just a bit of a bother. So I'll just go ahead and restart my game. I'll also import the save file for GTA 5 and we'll be testing out Grand Theft Auto 5 because obviously that is one of the best games to benchmark these windows emulators with. So here we go guys, I have successfully launched GTA 5 inside the Winlater O mode and I am very excited to see if we can get stable gameplay experience without stuttering or freezing issues because obviously this is a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device so you can expect amazing performance but it should be stable, there shouldn't be any stuttering issues like how we get a very stable gameplay experience in Game Hub emulator. I have also enabled the GTA 5 on-screen touch control input profile that we import so here you can see GTA 5. So let's wait for the loading to be completed and I'll be back once the game actually starts. And also minimum requirements are same just like the original Winlater Android. So there is nothing to worry about. And there we go guys GTA 5 has successfully started inside the Winlater O mode Glipsy and once again there are indeed stuttering issues until the shaders get compiled. But otherwise in terms of graphics I can't really see any problem and we are getting 30 FPS which is actually impressive. So let's just go ahead and get inside our car and take a look at free room gameplay experience of how well will GTA 5 work on our Android device and as far as I can see 
everything is going super smoothly like there are no graphical issues and we are getting stable 30 fps with frame drops here and there because of shader compilation but other than that if we disable vsync i am pretty sure we can get more than 60 fps but to disable vsync i'll need to edit the configuration of gta 5 manually but who the heck is actually trying to push me in like what the heck are you doing bro get the hell away from me but I think my car is stuck for some reason which is unfortunate I got it out now don't worry guys I'll be making a dedicated gameplay test video where we'll be testing out multiple high-end PC games on my Android device to see how well do they work you guys don't need to worry about anything I'll be uploading everything on my channel so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye